Muhammad Aman. I am studying in Standard 9th. My school name is Mount Valley English School. I would like to start off by thanking International Students Bridge Organization, Toronto, Canada, for assigning me another valuable topic. The topic I will present today is the importance of education. Education is extremely important to me because it is the foundation of life. It gives me knowledge of the world around me. Education helps me make good decisions for my life. It also forces me to be responsible because I learn how to manage my time and process information. Every human being needs oxygen to survive in the world. Education gives people the knowledge and skills they require. Education is important to people of all ages and it has no limit. Children require education in order for them to learn how to speak and to write. Humans are constantly learning and education has no boundary or limit. Adults are continuously learning as well. Education is a very vital tool that is used in the contemporary world to succeed. It is important because it is used to manage most of the challenges faced in life. The knowledge that is gained through education helps open doors to a lot of opportunities for better prospects in your career. I also believe education it is important because it helps us develop a unique perspective of looking at life. Education has played a major role for all individuals in the society. It has allowed the community to succeed both socially and economically by enabling it to develop common culture and values. Education is essential for each individual as it can lead us to a better future. Education plays an important role in providing us with knowledge. It helps us to interpret things rightly and apply it in real life. The emotional, social and physical development of young children has a direct effect on their overall development and on the adult they will become. That is why understanding the need to invest in very young children is so important. So it maximizes their growth. The real goal of education, aside from the growing academically, is to become a good person. Learning is nothing but a means of accomplishing that goal. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope we continue to learn and grow together as a community of learners. Thank you. My name is Mohammed Aman. I am studying in Standard 9th. My school name is Mount Valley English School. I want to thank International Students Bridge Organization, Toronto, Canada, for assigning me this important topic. The topic I will present today is how to improve reading. The best way to improve your reading comprehension level is through practice. There is no better way to practice reading other than having fun with it. Make reading a fun activity instead of a constant core. That this will motivate you to engage with the text and embrace the activity as a part of your daily life. As you practice and truly engage with your reading material, improvement will come naturally. Begin by reading texts that are slightly below your age or grade level. This will take pressure off of you and allow you to relax and enjoy the story. Once you feel more comfortable reading and practicing your comprehension strategies, go ahead and allow yourself to read at whatever reading or age level you feel like. Even if you feel that you do not understand some of the text right now or even a large portion of it, if you enjoy yourself and give it your best shot, you will find that your reading comprehension levels will improve over time. Read as often as you can. The more you read, the easier it becomes. Practicing for at least 15 to 30 minutes a day, every day, will make a big difference. Read something you are interested in, if you have a choice. It is no surprise that you will be more motivated to read a text that you genuinely care about. Here are a few important tips to improve reading. Do not rush while you are reading. 
be calm and concentrate. When you read a book or anything else, read it out loud to yourself so that you get used to speaking the language. With time, your pronunciation will improve. While reading in your mind, focus on the text in front of you and do not think about anything else. Read one paragraph at a time and summarize it in one sentence. That will help reveal the main idea. Ask yourself questions throughout reading. If you can, make small notes about the characters or the plot. If you do not understand a word, find out what it means. You can Google a word if you do not understand. For example, define comprehension. Once you learn to read, you will be forever free. The more, you, the more that you read, the more things you will know. Thank you. My name is Mohammed Aman. I am studying in Standard 9. My school name is Mount Valley English School. Firstly, I want to thank International Students Bridge Organization, Toronto, Canada, for assigning me another valuable topic. The topic I will present today is what are my responsibilities towards my neighbors. A man is not a believer who fills his stomach while his neighbor is hungry. To understand the duties a person has to the neighbor, it is important to first understand what a neighbor is. The neighbor includes the people who live adjoined or connected to your home. It, is, it also for, includes the people who live in near or far houses. It does not matter if your neighbor is Muslim or non-Muslim, practicing Islam or not, a friend or an enemy, a foreigner or a national. You have duties towards them. These are duties towards our neighbors. Protect their interests when they are absent. Show them respect when they are present. Help them when they are faced with injustice. Do not go out of your way to find their faults. If you, any, if you know any of their faults, hide them. Never leave them alone during calamity or problem. Forgive them if they have done any wrong. In short, live with them a peaceful and noble life based on the Isla highest Islamic ethical code. Some examples of completing these duties include kind treatment, sharing food, Visiting them during sickness, sad moments, and happy moments, not causing any harm. Exchanging gifts and greetings. It is clear that with good intentions, every single deed of the believer counts near the Almighty and will get its reward eventually. That is why our Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah, peace be upon him, has directed us to share every small good thing with our neighbor. I will conclude this topic by saying to myself, all brothers and sisters, that if our neighbors are happy, Almighty God is happy. Thank you.